greetings, my V family all over the world. This is your chief, the one and only Patman Sena Chiraja. Super excited. Week 5 of the year 2022. A uh, lot of exciting things, guys. I just got to adjust my iPad a little bit. All right. Did Instagram live. Told you guys it's 99% attitude, 1% skill. I stand by that. Launched my YouTube channel, Patman Senatiraja. If you realize, I put all my social media now under one name. So the big boys in Facebook can verify who I am. Simple as that. So the YouTube channel is up and going. Short, short videos. My whole journey. All the wisdom I learned from the great ones. Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, my mom. The many teachers in my life before I, I came into this great family. A lot of stuff. So subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, like it, like the video if you like it, okay? All right, but that's my way of taking the wisdom of Dato Sri Vijay, the years of experience of being a student and sharing it with the world so everyone can know. Open source, all right? Secrets of becoming successful. Uh, guys, I think we should always practice rhythm and share our knowledge with everyone, all right? But everyone should also know that the greatest opportunity today and for many, 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 many generations to come will be network marketing, all right? Uh, the greatest company in the industry today is, of course, ours, QNet, the number one e-commerce network marketing company in the world, guys, all right? So check out my YouTube channel, Patman Senatiraja. And this week, something clicked in me, okay? All right? And I really want you guys to listen carefully. So just focus on my gorgeous face and this Wednesday message. Very important. I realize that every week on all of us talk to you about uh, rejection. Rejection means rejection from the prospect. Okay, you're doing a presentation and the person says, no, that's called a rejection. But what I realized a few days ago that I forgot, or not forgot, I never told you enough that rejection is not only by prospects. That rejection happens more from your downlines. That means people who have already signed up and joined you ultimately rejects you when they don't do anything or they quit. So you understand the psyche of the prospect who rejects you. Okay, don't trust in the industry. Maybe it's a cold contact, a bit tougher. Your reputation before this, don't know, maybe trying to sell them everything on the planet. All right, uh, the internet today gives so much fake news, all right, but it still influences people, all right, a lot of stuff. You know, all the challenges of the prospects, you have mastered the art of handling all the objections, all right, watching the eight basic building blocks, rocking it, and you guys have always prepared for the rejection of your prospect, and I don't care, I love it. If you remember my mantra at VCon, Dr. Sri spoke about it, Japa, everyone. Don't be affected by the rejection, all right, of your prospects. Now, let's have a paradigm shift, guys. You are not only rejected by your prospects, but every single day, you're also rejected by your downlines. That's a rejection, ultimately, because they have said yes to QNET, all right, as the great opportunity, but they haven't said yes to you as an upline. So the first rejection is rejecting QNET, but a downline quitting the business, stopping, slowing down, not performing, not meeting the TAT, that's not a rejection of QNET. That's a rejection of you guys, all right? Because you are the upline. So when they already sign up, they have programmed in their mind, okay, I heard a lot of fake news, but I'm smart enough to know that QNET is the unbelievable, fantastic company I'm in. Now they sign up, they follow you. Now, whether you are brand new watching this video or you've been around a long time, you will realize this, right? Every day, some people quit network marketing for a million reasons, okay? Family doesn't support this, that, that. And I sort of don't blame them because they are not yet in warrior mode like you guys, you understand? They are still like, okay, do I have to be a warrior? I may still be a win, but they quit, okay? I don't hold anything against them. I'm grateful that they had the guts to say yes to the presentation and sign up. And after that, something happened. That's why people quit. And when they quit, they're not, they're not only saying no to QNET. They're saying no to you. They're saying, no, I quit. Now, you have to understand 
the psyche of your downline as much as you want to master the psyche of your prospects. So what is the psyche of your downline? What do you need to do to make sure your downline stays with you? So listen very carefully. Even if you got one downline or 100,000 downlines or millions of downlines like Japa and Datu Sri Vijay, all right, listen very carefully. The first psyche that you must prepare is that a prospect has a few objections during the presentation. But after they sign up, all right, they do much more research about QNET than they did as a prospect. They're going to do tons of research. They're going to talk to people, even though you told them, don't talk to people yet until you're trained, blah, 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 blah. They're too excited. So what you need to master is after the person signs up, you must sit down and prepare them for the beginning of the journey. All right? Because most of your downlines quit in the beginning of the journey. All right? Not at the tail end when they have seen you know commissions they believe and they know their potential is limitless they've been to vcon they've seen how great this company is right they're gonna stay but in the beginning part of the journey a lot of people quit and if you address those issues or those challenges you will be able to hold so many people until they get the click that this is it so what you're going to do is from the time somebody signs up the ultimate goal of the upline is to keep them switched on long enough for them to get the click when they earn their first commission or they get their first fine too or they come to VCon. They do research and understand the limitless potential of this industry, all right? Or they meet somebody and they hear an inspirational story at the system or the event and they are, they are locked in, guys, all right? And I'm a locked in guy. All of us, I call ourselves the 100 percenters. That means we are committed to this journey, our promises to Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, all right, that we will touch a billion hearts, right? So you've got a lot of people like this, right, all over the world. But there could be so many more financially free, earning enough to change their lifestyle, upgrade their car. There could be so many more success stories in QNET if we kept them in the system. So the first reason, the psyche you have to understand is they all quit in the beginning because they go out there and now they say, I am QNET. And then the attack will be more ferocious than the person saying, I'm thinking of joining QNET. Are you guys with me? All right. And they get hit. And that's when you got to back them up the most. That's when you got to be there on the phone, invite them for power of association, keep them close to you. So when they go out there and get bombarded by negativity, they come back home to be recharged. The new people really need power of association. And you have to create a way, whether it's on Zoom, physical, coffee shop, doesn't matter. You have all right, to be there, most importantly, at the beginning of your new signups journey. Keep them close so the energy goes to them, right? Plug them into the system, the videos, whatever, but keep them close. Communication. I'm talking hourly. I'm talking keeping them positive because they're going to potentially face negativity out there. The second thing is all of them sign up and come in with a little remaining doubt in their mind. And 99% of people their only doubt is no longer whether I trust this company, whether it's scam. No, because they've done enough research. They're in credit card, e-card, you know, Bitcoin. They've done. They bought the product. But their biggest doubt is going to be, will I earn? Will I see my money coming back? The one I spent to buy a product, even though they got a great product, people expect their money back in some way. They expect success. All right. And if you do not level their expectation and tell them that some people succeed in three months, some people take 30 months, some people take, you know, three years. It doesn't matter. It's still better than doing nothing. Go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. you got to, you know, you got to address the doubt even though they don't say it. And the doubt they have is, will I make it? When will I make it? When will I see my check? All right? And especially they face a negative challenge out there, whether it's a, uh, prospect they really thought will sign up and said no, somebody close to them or negativity when they approach somebody, okay, whatever it is, 
you, right, have to understand that the number one doubt they have in their mind is will they make money and when will they make money? Now, fine, they all see all of you making money. And you got to sit down and explain to them, yes, they can make 250 a week or 25,000 a week. But this is what they got to do to get there. Now, the problem is people don't believe in delayed gratification. So today, everyone's pay me now, pay me now, pay me now. I've got to make money now, 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 now. But I come from a generation where I know that I can work hard for one or two years and then see results. You know, it's like planting a seed and waiting for the tree to grow. And you've got to prepare them for this. Because maybe their perception of, of being an entrepreneur is quick money. I don't know. But prepare them for the price they have to pay and the potential of what they can earn. Right, and everyone's journey is different, but as long as you are there for them, everything. And the third challenge of the psyche or the psychology of of a signer is that they think you are going to run away. All right, they think you are not going to be reliable. They think you sign them up just to get the BV because now they understand network marketing. They are expecting you to abandon them, right, and not be there for them. That's the biggest mistake. A lot of people who have quit this business, who reach out to me, you know, on WhatsApp and all that stuff, and they all tell me the same thing. My upline was not there for me. Now, guys, you cannot be there for everyone individually. That's why the V is there. Your grand uplines are there. So there is a system. And today, with the ability to do everything online, you can still communicate and touch base and support anyone, anywhere through a system that your uplines have created or the V can show you how it's done. Because people quit because they feel you're not there for them. All right? And the fourth point, is everyone left their boring, you know, nine to five, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home existence so that they would have some fun, clean fun, guys, all right? I don't believe in alcohol and all that nonsense, but getting together, they want a sense of family. They want some laughter. They, they, they want to love this journey. They want this journey to be an enjoyable adventure, even with whatever problems it comes with or the challenges. Are you guys with me? All right? And make your downlines feel that this is a nice place. Because you hated your job because it wasn't a fun place. All right? You understand? So make this a loving, fun place. Prepare for that psyche. The next psyche, all right, why people, you know, you know, quit. Because they don't think that they are appreciated. Because everyone wants somebody to say something good about them. Remember this. This is so important. Right? Mother, Mother Teresa said these words. Dato Sri Vijay told me this. All right? And I still remember that uh, billions of people, uh, millions of people go to sleep every night hungry for food. But she said billions of people go to bed every night hungry for somebody to say something nice to them, to uplift them, empower them, encourage them. You understand? And that is something the, 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 their life didn't give them. And after signing up in QNet, if you give them that, they will stay. I'm here today because of the love, the, the, the empowerment, encouragement, upliftment that Dato Sri Vijay gave me for 24 years of my life now. You know, you feel appreciated and you should be grateful. Even if he's not your top performing downline, he signed up. He bought a product. Trusting QNet, trusting your system. So always empower, uplift, encourage people all the time, guys. All right? These, these are the psyches of the people at the beginning of their journey. And when anyone quits at the beginning of their journey, it's a form of rejection. I know some people quit for moronic reasons. It's okay. I don't care. I love it. Someone's waiting somewhere. Some will, some won't, right? But if they are genuine, then be there for them. That's all. And they won't quit. So you face rejections with prospects, but you also face rejections when you're downline. With the prospect, it's harder to handle because they're not in yet. But with your downlines, keep them. Hold their hand. 
establish that loyalty and love, be in service to them. And even if they don't make their check in one month, two months, three months, four months, they will still stay because they can see and feel your heart, guys. So remember this, right? You lose some prospects, it's okay. But stop losing your downlines. Understand them. Don't only expect them to understand you. Are you guys with me? Datu Sri always taught me that. This 2022, hold your people stronger and take them to the finish line. Are you guys with me? Right? Welcome to week five. No more rejections from your downlines. Are you guys with me? Rejections from prospects, SW. Rejections from downlines, introspect. Improve, change, evolve. And they will stay with you forever. Like how we are staying with the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay Love you guys.